I look pale. So do I. It's or the lighting. lighting. It's yeah, lighting. it's the lighting. Anyways, <laughs> today we just. You want to say? Today what? <laughs> that we just put our house on the market. Yes, we did. Um, they already came in today and took pictures. The guy's coming back to have us sign a couple papers. And we're gonna start house hunting soon. We have to do it. It sucks that we have to do it, but we had no choice, man. We would end up having to pay people to come live in this house rather than to rent it out. So as soon as I found that out, I'm in like. So today we're gonna go look at a neighborhood. Uh, it's gonna be in Old Henderson. I don't know where yet, or it could be on the east side of Vegas. I don't know where yet. We're just trying to look at different neighborhoods to see what's safe. Like we feel it's safe and quiet. That's what we're looking. I mean, we always lived on the east side, like where the parts where we live, we know it's calm. But like, there's not every part is calm. So you have to kind of like look around in the neighborhoods and drive around. That's what we want to do now, so we can see what type of area we can live in. Hopefully, we could find a good neighborhood good area to be honest i don't care if it's an older house i just want it to be our forever home in a way i'm tired of moving dude this, <laughs> this is our third time man it's like okay the first house is when we were boyfriend and girlfriend the sec this house we were boyfriend and girlfriend this one we were fiance no i proposed in this house and the third one is gonna be when we have our baby that's our plan third okay. time's a charm that's 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 the law, that's the wording, right? Going around the street, third time is charm. Well, we'll see. <laughs> so. No, I guess, I don't even know. I don't anymore. wanna move again after this, dude. It's it's such a pain in the butt. But we gotta do what we gotta do, so let's get on. The next day. A couple of days ago, it's been a while, we went to go look at those houses I told you about. And we still haven't got pre-approved pre for a house yet. We gotta do that Monday or Wednesday this week. So we just wanted to see a couple houses from the outside, the neighborhood and stuff to see if it's safe. But I talked to my friend, Panches, who is a police officer, soon to be police, police officer. And he said that no place in Vegas is safe. So I went to go check it out, saw the area. It's kind of old. I don't know, it seems kind of sketchy though. So I, I have no idea. But we did go look and we didn't like it. I asked a coworker of mine who's been here in Vegas for many, many years. Ron Jolly, hello. He grew up there and one of his, I think he said mother or grandmother's windows got shot. So I'm like, fast forward a couple of days, we put the house on the market. So now we have been packing, well Alexis has been packing. I've been working, today is the only day I have off, but <laughs> she's going hardcore, she was going hardcore. Look, check this out. She left me like three pairs of shirts. Literally, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What kind of clothes do you actually use? The rest, you don't even use it. Man, we have a lot of hangers. Just throw them away, they're probably full of fungus. These are my shoes, bro. What do you mean? These are I'm throwing away. What about those shoes? Yeah, those shoes. Two weeks ago. Yeah, man. I had them a long time ago, man. I don't think they. I think those are the shoes I bought you. Yeah, that was what six yeah. years I ago. I remember the last time I bought you a pair of shoes next to Tina. Yeah. Husband, the real MVP with the shoes. My coworker Tina has been giving me shoes. For, I can't remember the last time I bought a pair of shoes because of her. She has a boyfriend that collects shoes and they recently moved to a house and he was throwing away his um, shoes away, old shoes away. And she gave them to me. And another pair that she bought her son, the son didn't like it, she gave them to me. I mean, she's a true MVP. Yeah, like two pairs of shoes that she gave you, you haven't even used them. I know. These, these brown ones and then these ones. I, think you, I don't think you've used those. I've never seen No. Them. It's because I use um, shoes like until they're worn out. The pack room is full already. Ready to move out. I just hope we get pre-approved fast and this house sells fast. Pat just said that um, he struggled finding the house because a lot of people were offering. So you got to look at the glass half full. That's good. That means this house will probably sell fast. It's only, I don't think it has been even a day since um, we put it in the market. Was he saying stuff about me guys? Was he saying that I'm being crazy because I'm packing so much? No. 
What are you talking about? Everyone says I'm nesting. I keep hearing that because I tell people, oh, I'm packing, I'm organizing my stuff. They know I'm moving. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to wait till I'm nine months pregnant like this? You could, you could show now, huh? Like this wobble. I can't do that. I can't. I think I'll have to Show your that. belly. I think it's as big as mine. <laughs> <laughs> and good thing, I um, also got boxes, which means we should be shipping out the Keurig soon. We got boxes. Yeah, it should. I was looking at that. I was trying to see which one will fit. I don't know if it'll fit in there. I think it'll fit in that one. No, it's, it's, it's not short. that. It's not that big. That's what she said. <laughs> I'll tweet you whenever we ship it out. Yeah, By the way, follow us on Twitter, the Robles family. We'll follow back. The next day. Today we hit a rough patch. I think that's the term how you say it. We hit a nail on the road, or something like that. So we couldn't get pre-approved yet. If I'm real with you guys, 100% real, like I am, my credit score sucks. I don't want to say what it is because it's embarrassing. But I'm off, let's say, 60 points. Damn! It's not my fault. I, I, we pay everything on time. I haven't used this bank in years, dude. Years. It's been since 2011, I would say, that I used that credit card. So I have this balance of over almost $200 now that I didn't know about. It, it surprised me because it was a credit card that I haven't used in like seven years. As soon as they told me I went to the bank and they told me where it was from, I called the place. I'm like, who who charged this? It was only initially 66 bucks. If I would have known that, I would have just paid it off. But we had a subscription through Microsoft and they charged us for it when we canceled it. They still charge us for it and we left it there for years. So the balance was accumulating over time. Now it's almost $200. So we're gonna try to dispute that, hopefully raise my credit score up, and wasn't expecting that, guys, straight up. I was hoping that everything will go smoothly. <sighs> it's frustrating, dude, I swear we are cursed. We are cursed people, man. Okay, man. Oh, no. If it's not one thing, it's another. It, it's always like this. Oh my god, it, it can never go according to plan with us. We always struggle. I don't know why this happens. This is the thing. It takes months for it to get off your credit report. And Alexa says that it's some bull crap because we never got a no notification that we, we've been charged for it and we never got mail and that credit card was mailing to our other address. I didn't change the address because we weren't, I wasn't using the card. I didn't think it was a big deal. I was not gonna use it. <laughs> so now we have a problem, a little dilemma here. We hit a pickle. We'll probably go back to my parents' house, store our stuff in their garage and Live there for a couple months until my credit score goes up. <laughs> Man, you are one pathetic loser. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just frustrating, dude. This week's vlog, hopefully you guys like it, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, and see you guys next week, man. Hopefully I got better news next week. See you guys then.